Yo, what's up guys, my name is Randolph, welcome back to the channel, and today we have got a very exciting video indeed. A while ago, you might have remembered, I did a couple of submissions here on the channel, and I can finally announce, or I can finally tell you guys that I received my PSA returns. Let's go baby. In this video, I'll be opening my Hidden Fates returns, and then in the next video, I'll also be doing my Cosmic Eclipse returns too. So, I'm super excited. GradedGem.com are my official partners here on the channel. They are who I use to send my Pokemon cards all the way to PSA over in America. They have the best prices, the best service, and they are literally the best PSA service in the UK. So, I definitely recommend you guys going and checking them out in the description. Also, if you do go and use their service, make sure you let them know that Randolph sent you just so they can uh, be nice to me and be happy of the promotion that I provide. And yeah, great guys. We filmed a podcast recently with them. So if you want to go see that, check out the channel as well in the description. But now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for my returns. Let's do this. Okay, so we have two boxes here. I guess we'll start with the left hand side one. Now, these won't be in the same order that I actually sent them in. Um, and I can't even remember what that order was. That's fine. Oh, 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 oh. Let me open them this way. That is the back of them. And Laura isn't with me in today's video because she has been sorting these returns into the two separate videos that I filmed for the submissions. So that's why you can see hidden two written here. These cards aren't restricted only to hidden fates, but I think the majority of them are that way. Um, and Laura already knows these grades because she has sorted them and I can just feel her spoiling them for me in the background of the house somewhere. Like I've not even seen her. I made her put these like cards outside the door and then text me to let me know when they're ready. Uh, because I just know her face will spoil it for me and I can just I can feel her energy spoiling it for me right now So let's get into this ASAP so we can see what grades we get I'm gonna zoom in a little bit I think because we do need to obviously inspect uh, these cards and oh, let's do this man. I'm excited. Let's go. Let's go Okay, the first one looks good to me. Oh Hold on. There's a bit of whitening in the corner. You see that there right guys? Let me ensure the focus is perfect for this one. The trouble is the cards are going to keep getting lower and lower as I keep opening them. So I'll have to try and hold them at a consistent height. Yeah, I would say that's not a 10, but you never know with PSA. This is a... Oh, it's the Ekin Snake Backwards, my guy. PSA 9. That's okay. Reverse Holo Ekans PSA 9. That's not too bad. And uh, yeah, you can tell by that ding in the corner just there. Um... Ooh, close though. The centering looks nice. So it must have been that bit of white in the corner. Okay, let's put that. Let's have a nine pile and a ten pile. We'll put the nine pile to the right and we'll put the tens smack bang in the middle. So the next card is I can see another nick in the corner. Um, otherwise, it looks pretty good. Let's see. Oh, another Ekans reverse hollow. PSA 9. That's okay though. We love Snake backwards, my guy. And it just means that the PSA 10s are going to be even rarer, you know? So that's okay. That's okay. But yeah, you can't win them all. Okay, next up, we have another card, another nick in the corner up there, and one right here. It's crazy, man. You don't really expect like the amount of like things you miss when submitting them until you see them in the PSA case here. Obviously, gradedgem.com do do a uh, pre-grading service, but I don't like to see that just because I want to kind of be completely surprised. Um, you guys can ask them if you don't want to see them as well, but I do recommend it because it does allow you to know before you send a card whether it is going to get that grade, and Graded Gem submit thousands of cards a month, so they, they know what's going to get a 9 or a 10, more or less, you know? Okay. The next one, like we spoke about, has got a bit of a ding in the corner, so I'm not too sure about this one. Let's see. It is another PSA 9 Mint Ekans Snake Backwards, my guy. Oh, man, I was hoping these were going to be gem mint for the store so you guys can get your hands on some of the reverse hollow Ekans. Um, but these will still be available if anyone wants them. Obviously, PSA 9 is not too bad. These won't be priced too highly, um, but they're still a great piece of a, a Randolph Games history to get if you're interested in that type of thing. Okay, next card. How many of those things did I send in? This looks pretty nice. Bar the centering, kind of top heavy. This looks pretty nice. Let's see. We have a Gem Mint 10. Jesse and James full art card. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Look at this. Gem Mint 10. Jesse and James full art. Oh, that's what we like to see, baby. Let's go. My last returns, I'm not sure if you guys saw that video, but I didn't get many PSA 10s at all. So already four cards in. We've been redeemed. We've been redeemed. We have Sort Redemption. I don't know what to say, guys. I'm sorry, but I'm just gassed. But there we go. Jesse and James. Now, my mom hates it when I don't focus the bottom of the, the, the you know, the table. But I can't focus both at the same time, mom. That's not how cameras work. Anyway, let's get into the next one. Um, oh, that's another gem mint on the back. Minus the centering. As long as the centering is okay, this is a gem mint 10. Oh, let's go, baby. Charizard. 
Hidden Fates, Gem Mint 10. You know how we do it over here at Poke Rand, Randolph Games. Gem Mint 10s all day, baby. Apart from these nines. <laughs> Let's go. Charizard GX. 9 out of 68. Gem Mint 10. That's what we like to see. Oh, man. Let's go. Let's go. Shout out to any of the Charizard collectors out there. You guys are going to have a field day with that purchase. If I sell it, I might keep that one. If I only get one PSA 10, I might keep it, you know. But this card right here also looks quite a kind of gem. Oh, what is it going to be? It's another Charizard. Gem Mint 10. Let's go, baby. We need some sound effects when we get a Gem Mint 10. Laura, see if you can do that, okay? See if you can get like a, a sick sound for when we get Gem Mint 10. But look at that. Another Charizard from Hidden Fates. The same one. Gem Mint 10. Let's go, baby. We love to see that. We love to see that. Okay, the next card. Another gem. Again, maybe a bit top heavy, but not enough for them to give a bad grade. And I think it's also that just the angle I'm holding it at. I, th I think if I hold it properly flat, you'd see it's not actually that bad at all. We have a another gem in 10. Let's go. That's three Charizards in a row, man. I do not mess around. Let's go, baby. My Charizard game is on point right now. Look at this, guys. Three Charizard gem in 10s from Hidden Fates. Damn, your boy is on fire, man. Your boy is on fire. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Next up. Okay. Looks good. It looks good. Ooh, okay. We've got a near mint to mint eight. This is, again, from Hidden Fates, but it's the one that you get on top of the tin. The promo, it's not in the pack. It's on top of the tin. We all know that if you have, you know, cards that are in the tins or in the promo collections, they're usually not that great. Uh, but the back looked okay, you know. The back looked okay. Maybe the corners are not too straight. Um, I'm not entirely sure why. Maybe it's the center on the front, perhaps. Or there's a big scratch that I didn't see. That's okay, though. Nearman 8 is going to go over there. The next card looks pretty good on the back, but obviously I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. We have a Gem Mint 10 Charizard promo card. That's what I'm talking about. Look at all these Charizards rolling in, guys. We have got bare Charizards, one after the other. It's a shame that this one got an 8 over here, but it's okay, you know. We still got the 10, so it's not all doom and gloom. Um, this card will be available on the store super cheap as well, so I recommend you guys go to Pokeran.net to pick that up because that will fly off the shelf for those people who uh, maybe want a more affordable Charizard. This one's going to be mine to keep unless I get any more, so let's hope for your guys' sake that this one here is a Gem Mint 10. Let's see, baby. Let's see. Looks good on the back, but you never know. Oh, this is a Moltres that does an Articuno. Yes, let's go. That is the stained glass type of card. Uh, you get this from the Hidden Fates Elite Trainer Box, which was super rare, super expensive to get as well. So this is a great pull right here. I know Greater Gem opened a lot of these. I didn't get to open too many, but um, yeah, I'm super gassed to get this regardless. Look at that. Look how beautiful this artwork is. This is definitely one that I'm going to keep unless I get any spares because this card is just beautiful. And whatever this is worth, for me, it's worth more because look at this. That focus is sharp there now as well. Wow, what a card, man. Moltres, that does not the Kuno. Stained Glass, PSA 10. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Okay, next up, we have the next card. And there's a bit of dirt on the case. That's fine. Uh, okay, looks pretty good on the back. Centering's okay as well. Another Gem Mint 10! Stained Glass, Moltres, Articuno. Inside, sorry, Moltres, that doesn't Articuno. That's the order you have to say it in. Look at that. Black Star promo, Sun and Moon, 210. Stained Glass, beautiful card. One of the best Pokemon cards to ever exist, which means I might keep hold of these two. I might have these as investment pieces or just cards to have in the future. So if you do see this on Pokerand, it will be probably at a competitive price, probably more than other people, because I personally value this card really highly and it is a super, super sick card. So, oh, two in a row, baby. Let's go. I think I only did get two uh, Elite Trainer Boxes, so I don't think I have any more in your submission. This looks quite off center from right to left. I must have missed this. Or I tried to roll the dice and risk it. I can't see us getting a 10. But it does get a 10. Let's go, baby. It does get a 10. And that's what I'm talking about, guys. Sometimes PSA give you some leeway with the centering on the back of the cars. Because they have a set measurement that is, is allowed. I'll put that on the screen right now. We'll do some research. I'm not sure what it is off the top of my head. But they do give you some leeway with the centering. And it looks like I actually passed the leeway check. Moltres, that, that's an Articuno. Rainbow Rare, beautiful card, and the birds are being kind to me today, ladies and gentlemen. The birds are being kind to me. Also, if you count Charizard as a bird, which we kind of is because he has wings, you know? <laughs> Yo, I'm too gassed. I'm starting to slur my words. I'm speaking really fast because I'm way too gassed right now. PSA 10, number 69. Nice. Um, Yo, look at this, man. 
Oh man, let's go. And look for once, the 10 pile is bigger than the nine pile and the eight piles over there. We don't really talk about the eight pile, okay? Anyway, moving on, let's go. Next card. Ooh, it looks good. Let's go, baby. Another one in DJ Khaled's name. Another one. Let's go. Also, if you see me looking here, it's because I have my camera set to a monitor so I can see these cards like full and direct. My screen for the camera is so far up there that I can't see that anymore. So I have to use this monitor. And it's actually better because I can see the cards in a you know full quality like you guys can. And I can see uh, you know, any dings, any uh, nicks, anything like that. Uh, but yo, two in a row, baby. Two in a row. I... You know, I've got a Pokemon store now where I sell my graded cards and my single cards, but it's going to be super hard for me to actually part with some of these. I don't want to sell them, man. I just want to keep them and be greedy. Uh, but maybe they'll make it into the store. I I'll have to think about it, okay? Next up, we have another card, which on the back looks perfect, man. No nicks. No nicks. Let's see. Gemmin 10, another Moltres. That doesn't have to Kuno. This time, the full art card. I actually prefer the design of the full art uh, versus the actual uh, secret rare, if I'm being honest. Uh, I just love the way this pops, the color, the background. This is super, super nice. And the gem in 10, baby. Why, why have I got to do them like this? Why have I got to flex on you guys this badly, man? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We're doing very well here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this is a gem. This is gem min. Oh, let's go. Another one. Another one. Moltres at the Kuno full art card in gem in 10. At this point, yo, I'm going clear, man. As the EP name suggests, I'm going clear, especially with these Pokemon cards. God damn it, man. You could just tell from the back as well that was just destined for greatness. <laughs> okay. A little bit left to right heavy, but you never know. Oh my life. We are swimming in Moltres. Let's go. So this is like now every single, yo, every single. Moltres Zapdos card, it's come back a 10, including the stained glass. That is a ridiculous streak. Yo, this is actually my favorite Moltres card. I even sent another one of these in actually, because I love the Mr. Hero artwork so much. Um, and these cards are the best. I actually sold a bunch of these on my store, ungraded. So if you guys have any of those, if you guys purchased any off me, it looks like I've got some good gem in 10 looks. So make sure you do go to Graded Gem and get those cards graded ASAP. Um, okay, the last one out of this uh, box before we go into the second box over here. Um, and let's see, guys. Let's see. It looks good to me. Maybe a little bit of a nick down here. Um, let's see. Oh, baby. Gem in 10. Another one. That means every single... I think I sent two of each. Yeah, every single Moltres Zapdos Nauticuno card came back in that Gem in 10 grade. So, first half of the box was absolutely ridiculously good. Uh, we only got three nines, which were all snake backers Ekans. That's okay. Fair enough, I would suggest. But these cards are still prized uh, collection pieces for any Randolph Games enthusiasts out there. <laughs> um, we also got the PSA 8, which will be available in the store. Not sure what happened with this one exactly. Maybe the centering or maybe there's some scratch that I didn't see. But uh, I trust PSA. They are professional graders after all. And uh, yeah, let's get into the second box, ladies and gentlemen. Fantastic grades in the first half. Let's now get into the second half. And I almost spoiled it for myself, but I looked away. And okay, we have less in here. Oh, what's this? Oh, we got a miscut. We didn't get the grade for it. Okay, okay, okay. So this one I sent in as a... You see here, it's like sharp at the end, like a, a square. I sent this in to try and get the miscut grade, but it looks like it didn't get it. That's fine though. Usually they have their own criteria of what counts as a miscut. And uh, in this case, it looks like it didn't get it, but uh, I wasn't expecting it to. But I just sent it anyway to check. As you can see there, the square in the corner, but the rest of it is normal. So yeah, I guess they didn't want to grade that one. That's okay though. That's completely fine. We're going to put that one to one side. And we have a Japanese card, it looks like, for the first one. Uh, let's find that focus point again. I think it's right there. Yep. This one looks good. Japanese cards usually are. Let's see. We have a Gem Mint 10 Pikachu from CP6. This is this is the equivalent to Evolutions in uh, Japan. So they had CP6 for the 20th anniversary rather than uh, Evolutions. And this is the Pikachu EX. Um, it's actually a first edition. Yeah, first edition. As you can see, Japanese cards still have the first edition, especially with the CP6 as well. So this is really awesome. Um, you got the Electabuzz. You have the Jolteon in the back as well. That is a super good grade, a super good card, and one that I will cherish. This one won't be for sale. This one will be in my collection. Um, what a great card, man. Absolutely fantastic card. Love that. So we're starting things off with the Gemin 10 in the second half of this, which is fantastic to see. Next up, we have, okay, looks good on the back. Let's see, we have a, ooh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. This one was one where I was like, you know what, I'm sending it anyway. I don't really, uh, I'm not really holding much 
hope for it, but I'll send it regardless and see what happens. That does get the PSA 8 grade, but I will keep this because this will go into my personal collection until I can get a PSA 9 or a 10. So it must be just, yeah, some surface scratching. The Sentry, in my opinion, doesn't look too bad. Um, and for those who also saw my $10,000 submission recently where I sent off the Typhlosions, that's what can happen, okay? I thought my Typhlosion was pristine, but this has come back an 8. So the card that I think might get a $10,000 price tag maybe won't. So we're going to put that in the 8 pile over here. But that's okay. That is okay. Moving on. Uh, okay, looks pretty good. Oh, actually, there's a bit of a nick there. I must have missed that, or is that in the casing? I'm not quite sure. That could be the plastic here. Uh, a bit of something there as well, but let's see. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Heracross. Oh, man, Neo Genesis is such a hard set to grade, man. Oh, it's so hard. Damn. Damn, that's what, this is what I'm scared at. This has got a lot of print lines on, a lot of scratches, to be fair. But like I said, like I always say, it's worth sending off sometimes, especially with these uh, first edition Neo Genesis cards. You never know what they're going to come back as. But we do get a 7, which is not great. Um, I think I actually have a <laughs> Neo Genesis Heracross already an 8. So 7, definitely a downgrade. So that one might very well be for sale for a very cheap price on Pokerand.net. Okay. Woo, next up. Oh, man. I guess I didn't save the vessel last. Oh, we've got a big nick up there. What's this going to be? Yes, RK9 Mint 9. Now, I actually pre-graded this myself as a 9, so there's no surprises here. I didn't think this was going to get a 10, but look at this card. I don't have many Aquapolis cards, especially cased and graded. So this is like the beginning of my collection in those sets, and I'm definitely not ashamed, or I'm definitely not upset to get 9s. 9s are incredibly uh, good cards, especially from the front. Look at this. Like, you can't tell anything wrong with this unless you obviously grade it and really like get a magnifying glass and look. Obviously at the back you can see that big nick up there, which is not great. But yeah, this is going to go straight into my collection. And uh, yeah, this kickstarts my Aquapolis collection. So very happy with that one indeed. Not everything needs to be a 10, guys. Not everything will be a 10, and that's completely okay. Okay, next up, uh, yeah, a big nick down here in the corner. Centering is not great, so let's see what this is. This is a Celebi PSA 9. You guys know I'm trying to start a collection where I try and get every single Celebi ever printed in a PSA case. Uh, 9 or 10, I don't really mind. Obviously, 10 is preferred at the end of the day, but I'm not bothered about starting at 9s, starting at 8s. I just want every Celebi card in a PSA case. Um, so there we go. That is from uh, Breakthrough. That is a uh, Black Star promo, 93 from X and Y. Um, so that's okay. Completely understand that grade. Uh, oh my life. That is a... What is this? A big nick. That is another Celebi. Yep, I got this uh, from a Lost Thunder pack. Again, same thing as before. Also, the Centrin's top heavy, so I can see why I got a 9. Uh, like I said, I want to try and get every single Celebi slabbed up, so a 9 is not bad. I can always... Uh, replace this in the future if I do want a 10 but the important thing is is I've got the card in my collection so that's one that I can tick off you know so we'll put that down there we have another Japanese card looks like we have a few Japanese cards to come up here I can't remember exactly what this was or is let's see Gem Mint 10, baby. This is an Articuno from Tag All Stars. You guys know how much I love that set. I actually bought 15 new boxes for the website and it's sold out pretty much completely. So let me know what pulls you guys get for everyone buying them out there. And also, if you do get some cards like this Articuno that you want to submit, go ahead and do so at Graded Gem. Um, got a bit of camera wobble right here, but that's okay. Love this card. This one's going to my collection. This won't be for sale. I just love the Articuno so much. And uh, I do need to send some more Tag All Stars. So that will be happening very, very soon. Okay. Next up, another Japanese card, so I'm hoping the best for this one. We have another PSA 10, so this one might be available on the store, guys. Whoever's interested, pokeran.net. Make sure you guys go and check that out. Articuno holo card. I just love this artwork so much. It's just beautiful to me. I'm hoping I've got some Mew in here as well. That one right there might be the Mew. I really hope that gets a 10, because that's probably one of my favorite Mews ever created. Okay, let's see what this is. Oh, baby, Mewtwo and Mew full art from Unified Minds. I think my mum actually pulled this, or maybe I did. We definitely pulled it together when we were on holiday opening Unified Minds. This is an absolutely incredible card. Love this, Mewtwo and Mew. So I'm really happy to get that. Oh, baby. That's one, that's one for the collection as well. That won't be for sale, guys. This is mine. Hands off it, guys. It's my property, not yours. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But it is mine, though. <laughs> oh, let's go. Gem Mint 10. That's what we'd love to see. Okay, so we've got a few more Japanese cards. In fact, everything remaining looks to be Japanese. So let's see. We have a... There we go. We have a Gem Mint 10 Mew from Tag All Stars. Love this artwork. Look at the way that, that card shines, man. This is definitely going to go in my collection. One of my prized possessions for sure. I'm hoping this is another Mew. Let's see. Oh, this one got the 8. Why did this one get the 8? That's okay, though. That's okay, but why, though? I just want to know why. I find it hard to pre-grade Japanese cards, so maybe it's the corners, maybe they're not smooth or something. Okay, that one will be for sale, guys, for super cheap. Go and pick that up, pokeran.net. We have... Okay, now I don't know. Now I don't know. What? 
Five? What? The camera's shaking. Even the, even the camera's upset. Why did I get the five? I think it's the corners, man. Look at this like corner. It's not really round. Um, why the fire? There must be a scratch somewhere. There must be, man. Or a dent or something. These Mewtwo cards are actually like transported so badly. They're in a promo packet. You got these when you went to see the new movie, the Mewtwo Strikes Back Evolution in Japan. Yeah, I think it's got a bend in it or something. Uh, but yeah, you got these when you went to see the movie in Japan. And the way they send it to you, they send it, like, they send it to you with like a magnet in the... Yeah, actually, I've got one right here. They actually send it with this, like sticking out of the pack. So I can't imagine that actually transports too well. So I'm hoping I sent two of these in because I'm hoping one right here is a... Is a like a 10? Oh, better? There we go, baby. Let's go. We got the Armored New 2 in Gem Mint 10 that is going straight into my collection. Oh, yes, baby. I love that. So I'm not sure why the other one got the uh, the five. They looked identical to me, but there must be something. I trust PSA. Um, but we did get the Gem Mint 10 there. And that is an awesome, awesome card to end the video on. I do have like probably like nine or ten more of these Mewtwo's to, to send in. So maybe I actually will send those in soon and they will be available on the store if anyone wants to pick those up. I also have some English ones from the collector's chest, but they're awful quality. I can't imagine any of them even getting an, an eight, you know. So anyway, I'm not going to go through them all again because I've actually done that in this video. But we've got some beautiful tens here today, ladies and gentlemen. Some of these will be available on the store, of course. Uh, some won't be. Some will be going into my personal collection. So I just recommend you guys go and check out Pokeran.net to see if any are available. Um, some great cards here to pick up and I do recommend you doing so. Also, if you have Pokemon cards that you want to send off to PSA, go and check out GradedGem.com. As I said before, they are our official partners over here on Pokerand, Randolph Games, whatever you want to call us. And I can't highly recommend them enough. They're great guys as well. Great business. Uh, yeah, and definitely do need to be supported because they will get your cards to PSA and back quickly and also just in great you know fashion so make sure you go and check them out and guys my name is randolph let me know in the comments what your favorite card in this video was it's hard for me to say maybe it was the mewtwo maybe it was the pikachu maybe it was the uh the stained glass uh you know birds trio canto bird legendary trio i can't even think man this is so sick amazing returns today and stay tuned guys coming soon is the cosmic eclipse psa returns that i'm going to film right now so i'll know but you won't know for a couple of days anyway as always leave a like comment down below subscribe if you want already my name is randolph i will see you tomorrow for another pokemon video for now though take care and peace out